Hello, CTA. If we haven't met yet, my name's Larissa, and I'm the paid media manager at Unbounce. Hi, CTA. My name is Cole, and I am on the product team at Unbounce. And today we're here to talk about page speed, but more specifically about a problem that we are facing today as digital marketers. And it's this. Slow landing pages are killing your conversions. And I know it's a little dramatic, but I'm going to explain what I mean by this. So we saw this stat yesterday in Johnny's presentation. For every one second delay in site load time, conversions fall by 12%. Now, 12% is quite a bit, but it's also not the full story. So I want to dig in a little bit deeper. And if we're looking specifically at mobile, and on a 3G connection, this can actually jump from 12 up to 20% of conversions lost, just over one second. And you might be thinking, of course, it's slow. It's a 3G connection. We're often on Wi-Fi or on something a little bit faster. But the reality is that actually 70% of the world is accessing the internet and your websites with a 3G connection or even slower. And this isn't expected to stop for the next couple of years. So we need to be designing for this 70%, but I know it's not always happening these days. And you might be thinking, well, we're marketers. We've been hearing for years how important mobile is. We get it. Our sites are responsive. But it's still worth refreshing, because mobile, we're still seeing mobile experiences that could be a lot better. So let's just recap for a little bit. So in case you didn't know, mobile currently accounts for more than 60% of internet usage worldwide. It's also more than half of Google searches in several countries, including the US. And this has been happening since 2015. And more than 60% of Google search ad clicks. So if you're not investing in this, your competitors probably are. And, with, and last year, we spent, as a group of marketers, $95 billion US on Google Ads. So it's quite a bit of money. That's not insignificant. And so because of that, this is what it's starting to look like above the fold these days. So we're all competing for that top spot. We're all competing to get to page one, position one. And how do we do that? Well, if you care about results, you need to care about page speed. And not just because I'm telling you so. There's been some hints dropped from Google over this past year, uh, in particular, that are showing that they really care about mobile as well, or page speed as well. So last month. As we know, mobile page speed became a ranking factor on search. So all of the SEOs in the room are very familiar with this change. They also very recently introduced the mobile speed score. So you can now rank your landing pages by speed inside of Google Ads. And they've been very public in their support for accelerated mobile pages, or AMP. And Cole is going to get right into this in a couple of minutes. And there's even some upcoming changes to tracking to make sure that landing pages load as quickly as possible after the ad click. So why is Google doing this? Well, they want us to spend $100 billion this year on ads, and preferably a little bit more. And they know that if we are not seeing results, we're not going to do that. And they also know that if searchers aren't finding what they're looking for, and they're not finding it fast, they're not going to click ads anymore. And they don't want you to just pay your way to the top. This is why they created a quality score. So you can't just raise your bids and move up in the rankings. Let's, so how do we actually do that? We all want a 10 out of 10. It's not that easy. Um, even just sometimes improving by one point would be great. Let's recap really quickly what exactly is included in quality score. So it's three factors. First, what's the expected click-through rate of your ad? 
Two, how relevant is it to your keywords, to the search? And three, landing page experience. This is where I really want to focus. So I want to know that landing page experience is that one factor that you can optimize outside of Google Ads. So this happens after the click. And how do you optimize your landing page for a better experience? There's a whole lot that goes into a landing page. Is it the headline? Do we, make, do we change the colors? What is it? Well, it's not that easy, but it's also not impossible. And Google actually gives us some ideas of how we can do that. And there are five listed on their website of how you can improve landing page experience. And spoiler alert, two out of the five are related to page speed. So I'm now going to hand things over to Cole, who's going to tell you a little bit more about how you can improve your speed, as well as what Unbounce is doing about it. Awesome. Thank you, Larissa. Uh, so yes, page speed is top of mind for marketers today. Everyone's talking about it. As Larissa was saying, everyone's fighting for page one, position one. And Google lists out some of the things that you can do to improve your landing page experience. So number four we're going to look at is decrease your landing page loading time. But what does that mean? If we take a look at the first bullet here, it says make sure your landing page loads quickly when someone clicks on your ad. So if we dig into that a bit more, we often see marketers using tools like PageSpeed Insights, Pingdom, Web Page Test, et cetera, to diagnose their page performance and see how they might make improvements, get their score higher. Uh, so to give an example, using our careers page, it's built in Unbounce, and yep, we're hiring. Uh, I just submitted it, hit the Analyze button, and it does some analysis on the background. And using Google's model, it takes your page structure and gives you a 1 to 100 score on mobile and desktop, uh, comparing it to their model predicting page performance. And so if we go here, just scroll down, you'll see a list of optimization suggestions. And I don't know about you in the room, but me personally, I'm looking at the first item here, and I wouldn't know how to eliminate render blocking JavaScript and CSS and above the fold content. Um, and the reality is, unless you're a savvy developer, you probably don't know how to do these things either. Uh, and more unfortunately, if you're an unbounced customer, you don't have control over a lot of these things. And that's important, because page speed is important. You've hired us to do a job. You want us to provide you with fast landing pages. You put it through a page speed tool like this, get a report, and then learn that you actually can't make moves on some of the things that they're telling you to do. And so with that, we spent the last quarter focusing on making some improvements in these areas. Uh, we understand, again, it is top of mind, and everyone's asking for it. And we want to get, deliver the best product possible to our customers. And so in the last quarter, we're just wrapping up our first round of improvements. And next week, when everyone's back in office, we'll be doing our first release to production, tackling these areas. And we'll continue to invest and improve and look for other opportunities that we can make uh, to get you higher scores on both mobile and desktop performance. But that's not all. Similar to what Johnny was speaking about yesterday, there's a battle between page speed and page uh, beauty, if you will. Uh, and there's a lot of things that you marketers can do to your page that do negatively affect your page speed results. And so we recognize that, and there is a hand that we can play to make you or help you make better decisions. And so additionally to the work that we're doing on the back end to improve these scores, next Wednesday we're also kicking off work to increase or improve uh, image compression in the builder and give you optimization controls uh, as well. So there's no more exporting your images from one tool, uploading them to a separate tool to compress them, downloading them, and then uploading them to Unbounce. We want to give you that complete control in the tool. Ideally, if you are using these tools, we want to see Unbounce customers getting good scores across the board, and that's what we're working on. But that's not all. If we go back to what Google was recommending, the next bullet point here is consider turning your landing page into an accelerated mobile page. And so 
just before I continue, quick show of hands, who here had heard of AMP before CTA Conf? Okay, less than half. Who here has actually started implementing AMP in your campaigns? Okay, I could count on all my fingers and toes how many people in the room have. And we get that. Uh, there is a barrier to entry. And so, for those of you that aren't familiar with AMP, you may have noticed a new icon showing up in search results and different content on different platforms. And if you're like me, you may have asked yourself, like, oh shit, what's the deal with these Harry Potter pages? Is Lord Voldemort out there casting killing curses? I was totally expecting that joke to bomb, so thank you. <laughs> so in reality, this icon indicates that these articles and pages are built with AMP technology. Uh, and similar to what Larissa was saying, page speed is top of mind. And it's not only top of mind for marketers, it's top of mind for visitors, it's top of mind for publishers, and it's top of mind for Google. So that's why you'll start to see a lot of these articles with these icons showing up at the top results of search results and ad placement. What's important for you to know, without getting into the specifics, is that AMP leverages two key things. It's lightweight, built using restrictive front-end technologies and it's pre-rendered and optimized by something called AMP Cache. That's it. Really what you need to know is that it results in near instant loading for your mobile visitors. Some of you may have visited the AMP booth yesterday where Larissa and myself were running your pages through the page speed scores. Uh, this is directly associated with that problem. So in other words, there's fast, but then there's AMP fast. And if you're fighting for page one, position one, this is the reason why industry experts are touting it as the best kept AdWords secret. And so some of you might be wondering, OK, this is great, AMP cache. I have no idea what that is. Restrictive front end technologies like HTML, OK. I'll talk to my developer about that. And we get that pain. We don't want you to worry about AMP cache and front end technologies. And I'm going to just step back for a second. These are some of Unbounce's co-founders. Uh, you've probably seen these three talk the last couple days. Some of you might have met Carter, our president, in the corner. Uh, they all worked together in the past, a previous life. And essentially, Rick was always trying to get landing pages built by Carl's team. Carl was CTO at the time, and I'm sure you can all identify with his experience. Uh, he had a backlog of issues with high priority items, and landing pages just didn't align with what the business thought was most valuable. Essentially, Rick just wanted unbounce. <laughs> I'm sorry, Carl. I'll bring you back. And so unbounce was created to remove IT from the equation of building high converting landing pages. And we want to continue that. We don't want you to worry about AMP cache, restrictive front end technologies. And so in that fashion, I'm happy to announce that the team's been working very hard in the last quarter. AMP is coming to Unbounce. Uh, so we're still early stages. We're uh, currently in a closed beta. We have a handful of customers getting AMP value today. Uh, building out more functionality and more support for more customers will be coming out over the coming months. Um, if you visited us already in the AMP booth to sign up, you'll be notified as soon as we have more information. And come visit us afterwards as well. To help... Um, illustrate the value that AMP added. One of our customers actually ran some tests prior to, our, prior to us starting work on it. So they took a regular landing page, tested against an AMP page, and saw a significant improvement in conversions. More specifically, they saw a 60% improvement in conversions. And this is exactly the type of win and the type of value that we want to be getting for our customers every day. And that's why we're going in on AMP. And so, as I said, we're early stages, but I want to give you a really quick sneak peek preview. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, but for those of you that have been in Unbounce before, you will recognize our template picker where you can select the different content types. Uh, for those of you with access to AMP, you'll now notice a new content type, which is AMP there on the right. Uh, we will have more templates. Again, we are still in early stages. Uh, and if you select it, you'll go in to our builder, and it's the exact same content creation experience you're used to. Fully customizable, drag and drop, build on-brand AMP pages for your campaigns. And if you want to learn more about AMP and you haven't yet come to visit us outside at Inside Unbounce, there's still some time. So go stop by at the booth, or you can visit this landing page where you can also sign up for the next rounds of our beta testing. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot, guys.